Are you ready? Hi, I'm Dave Sobera with Encino Little League. We're here at the Subdivisional Championship game. Now there's only five teams left in all of California. Encino is one of them. And with a win today, they'll be one of the final three in the state. Encino is ready for its sixth game in six days with a chance to add a third championship banner. Jack Schur starts off the game with a leadoff walk and Jamie Robertson is up next. He blasts it to dead center. That ball is way back. Forget about it. It's a two-run homer for Jamie Robertson. Jack Schur scores to make it 2-0 Encino. Later, Elijah West blasts a line drive bullet off the third baseman and legs it out for an infield single. Then Cameron Bolger takes a free pass and the bases are loaded for Justin Greenwald who rips the RBI single up the middle, scoring Blake Hansen to give Encino a 3-0 lead. But in the bottom of the first, Caneo Valley scores eight runs to take an 8-3 lead. Encino is down but they're never out no matter what the odds. They go right back to work in the top of the second when Jack Schur lines a base hit to center field. And then it's deja vu all over again because Jamie Robertson belts a long fly ball to deep center and it's gone. Goodbye baseball. It's Jamie Robertson's second homer of the game. Jack Schur scores to make it 8-5 Caneo Valley. What were you thinking when you hit the second one? Will this go out? Will this go out? Will this go out? No, no, no. And it did? Yeah, so then I was very happy. I thought I'd give my team a big boost, so I was happy. In the bottom of the second, Jamie Robertson gets in a rhythm with a 1-2-3 inning, including this strikeout. To the top of three we go. Cameron Bolger hits it deep in the hole for an infield single. And Justin Greenwald is up next. He smokes it, and it's long, it's high, it's off the flagpole for a two-run homer. It's Greenwald's third in two days and sixth of the All-Star season. Cameron Bolger scores, and it's 8-7 Caneo Valley. In the bottom of the third, Jamie Robertson is dominant with two strikeouts for a total of four on the day. We're headed to the top of four, where there's already two outs. And remember this all-out effort by Elijah West, who blazes down the line for an infield single because it would start an unprecedented two-out rally. Sean Gusenberg shows great plate discipline to draw a walk, moving the game-tying run, Elijah West, in the scoring position. And Mike Cohen comes through in the clutch with an RBI double, scoring Elijah West and Encino has erased a five-run deficit to tie it up at eight. I just tried to hit the ball and hope the ball gets through, and it kind of did. I went down 0-2 and tried to fight back, and I got a double. Justin Greenwald is up next, and he's on fire. He lines a shot to center field for his third hit of the day, scoring Sean Goosenberg, and he's just been on a tear as of late, going six for his last six with nine RBIs. It's 9-8 in Sino. Our inning kept going and going, and I saw a fastball right in there, and I just knocked it right back in the center. The rally continues when Blake Hansen blasts a two-run double to right center, scoring Gordon Magruder and Justin Greenwald. It's 11-8 in Sino. There was a runner on second and third, and I had to hit it to the right side, so I saw the outside pitch and took it the other way Ouch. and scored them both. And Sino's not finished yet. Jack Schur gets the base knock in the hole, scoring Blake Hansen to give Encino a 12-8 lead. Schur reached base all nine times the past two days against Caneo Valley. Then, Jamie Robertson shows patience and draws the walk. And this is just the epitome of a two-out rally. The momentum continues when Seth Stone goes to the power alley, scoring Jack Schur. It's 13-8 Encino. And now it's time for the cleanup hitter, Grant Berman, to show off his power. He sends it right back from where it came from for the RBI single, scoring Jamie Robertson to make it 14-8 in Sino. And the two-out rally comes full circle when Elijah West, the man who started it off with his great hustle play, 
rips an RBI single up the middle, scoring Seth Stone. It's 15-8 Encino. Sean Gusenberg finishes the rally with an opposite field base hit. And Encino has scored 12 straight runs since trailing 8-3. In the bottom of the fourth, Mike Cohen makes a great backhand catch, steps on second, and fires the first for a double play. We move ahead to the bottom of five, where Caneo Valley gets two runs to make it a 15-10 Encino lead. And they're trying to rally, but Blake Hansen charges and fires to first for an out. And then we're going to have a rundown. Seth Stone gets it to Mike Cohen, who tosses it to Justin Greenwald for the 6-3-5-4-1 double play. We head to the top of the sixth, and Seth Stone makes it look easy. He crushes a bullet to left center, and it's out of here. That's Stone's seventh big fly in the past 10 games. Touch them all, Seth. It's 16-10, Encino. Cameron Bolger finishes the game with Encino's 19th base hit of the day. So Encino is three outs away from a subdivisional championship. Justin Greenwald paints the outside corner for a strikeout to open the bottom of the sixth. And now Encino is one out away from the SoCal Championship Series. Greenwald finishes in style when he gets the hitter fishing. And Encino has won the North Subdivision. Encino is only two wins away from representing Southern California in the Western Regional. The final score, Encino 16 and Caneo Valley 10. Two teams left in Southern California, three teams left in the state. How does that feel? It feels great. We always feels knew great. we always knew we could great. we knew we could get this far and feels great. the dreams coming true. <laughs>